Learning more about a story we first reported on earlier this week, the Alaska Native Medical Center had its deemed status removed by a federal accrediting agency. That raises the possibility the hospital might lose the ability to take Medicare patients. It also means the state has taken over supervision of some of the hospital's operations. Now we're learning more about the problems. Investigative reporter Mike Mason is here with an update now, Mike. Yeah, the Alaska Native Medical Center has received a notice of removal of DEAN status by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, or CMS. CMS found these deficiencies, which need to be corrected. Now we're learning more about the nature of those specific violations. CMS inspected the hospital this past June and issued its findings on July 12th. We have now learned that the problems extend to emergency and fast-track operations. The Alaska Native Medical Center is a 172-bed facility that's jointly operated by the South Central Foundation and the Alaska Native Tribal Health Consortium, or ANTHC. CMS can temporarily remove a health center's deemed status after an inspection if non-compliance issues are identified. We obtained a letter from CMS stating the deficiencies involve the hospital's governing body and emergency services. We asked ANTHC to explain in detail what that meant. In an email they wrote, findings include the governance of the emergency department in fast track, unified physician and nursing leadership, the role of the administrator, and the functions of the joint operating board. We pressed ANTHC for a more detailed explanation and wanted to know exactly what deficiencies were found with its emergency services. In an email statement submitted on behalf of ANTHC and SCF, it reads, There are both ANTHC and SCF physicians, nurses, and other care providers who offer health care services to patients at ANMC. For example, ANTHC employees staff the acute section of the ANMC Emergency Services Department, and SCF employees staff the Fast Track, a non-acute section within the ANMC Emergency Services Department. A single emergency services medical director provides medical oversight for the entire emergency services department, including acute and fast track. With respect to CMS's findings, as it relates to services, roles, and leadership, the findings refer to regulations that require, for example, one leader of medical staff and one hospital administrator who reports to hospital governance, for example, the joint operating board. In today's email, the medical center says the issues do not deal directly with patient safety. Instead, the organization says it was about the unique governance structure of the hospital. ANTHC has until October 10th to fix the problems or face losing the ability to bill for Medicare services. ANTHC says it will submit its corrective action plan to CMS sometime this week. And we'll continue trying to learn more about what the feds found wrong at the medical center and keep you updated.